front, two technicians are explaining the cause of slow cranking and high current draw. Technician A says an engine bearing could be the cause. Technician B says the starter motor armature could be binding or defective. Who is right? Back. Both A and B. Tech A is right because both mechanical problems like tighter seized engine bearings can cause an engine to fail to crank and crank slowing with high current draw due to excessive resistance. Tech B is also right because excessive starter resistance will be caused by a binding or defective field coil. Front, Electromagnetic Interference ME Back, Radiation Interference that occurs when an induced voltage enters another system's wiring. Front, Hall Effect Switch Back, the sensor operates by moving a magnetic field relative to a semiconductor creating a square wave output usually used to determine position. Named for Edwin H. Hall, who discovered the Hall Effect in 1879. Front, Omen RS Quo S Law Back, a set of formulas that expresses the relationships among voltage current, and resistance in an electric circuit. Front, open circuit voltage test. Back, measuring battery voltage from positive to negative with a DMM and no load. Front, bench testing. Back, method of removing a component from the vehicle and testing it on a workbench using the proper tools and equipment. Front, ohmmeter. Back, a meter that measures the resistance to current in ohms W. Front, what is the first and most important step when servicing an airbag? Back, disconnect the battery negative cable. To prevent accidental deployment of the airbag, disconnect the battery negative cable to disable the airbag system. Front, intermittent problem. Back, a problem that only occurs when certain conditions are present, also called intermittent failure or soft failure. Front, clock spring. Back, electrical current is provided to the airbag through the spiral cable, which is also known as a coil or clock spring. Front, a technician connects one lead of a DMM digital multimeter to the positive plus terminal of a battery and the other meter lead to the B terminal of the starter solenoid and then cranks the engine. During cranking, the voltmeter displays a reading of 878 millivolts. Technician A says this reading indicates the positive battery cable has very high resistance. Technician B says this reading indicates that the starter armature is defective. Of only, technician A is correct because voltage drop should be less than 0.2 volts not 0.878 volts or 878 millivolts. Technician B is wrong because this test does not test the integrity of the armature, which is done through... Front, Central Processing Unit CPU. Back, the brain or main processor in a computer. Front, Ammeter. Back, a meter that measures current in amps. An electrical test instrument used to measure amperes unit of the amount of current flow. Front, Hydrometer. Back, a device that measures the specific gravity, weight or density of electrolyte in a battery is a measure of the general charge level of the battery. Also called a battery charge indicator. Front, when jump starting a vehicle using jumper cables with a dead battery, what is the correct procedure? Back, connect plus positive to plus positive and negative to negative. You always connect plus positive to plus positive and negative to negative. Front, conventional current theory. Back, a theory that says that electrons flow through a circuit from positive plus to negative. Electrons leave the positive terminal of the battery, flow through the circuit, and then re-enter the battery through the negative terminal. 
Front, Driver Information System, Dick. Back, a vehicle communication system that uses a small speaker, computer, and numerous sensors to inform the driver of vehicle conditions. A system that employ the numerous sensor inputs to the engine control system power train control module PCM in addition to vehicle mileage to accurately calculate when the oil needs changing. This allows the software to take into account temperature, highway or city driving, extreme ambient temperatures, and other factors in making the decision. An oil change indicator tells the driver that an oil change is needed. Front, why should the lights be turned on when checking for ripple voltage or AC current from the alternator? Back, create electrical load, checking for ripple measures the integrity of the alternator internal components and must be tested under load with system on to measure voltage. The battery must be at 75% charge for this test. Front, headlamp aiming. Back, adjusting the bulbs of headlamps so they are pointing at a specified height and direction in front of the car. Front, two technicians are explaining how to adjust the drive belt when replacing an alternator. Technician A says on a serpentine belt. The tension is adjusted by moving the tensioner up or down. Technician B says to recheck tension run the engine for one hour to see if the belt is in the specified range for a used drive belt after the alternator has been replaced. Who is right? Back, neither A nor B both are wrong. Technician A is wrong because tensioner systems are automatic and not adjustable. Technician B is wrong because you generally check tension after 15 minutes not one hour. Front. A technician is checking the continuity of a 30 amp circuit breaker in a power convenience system with a DMM digital multimeter. Technician A says the current from the ohm meter will close the circuit breaker. Technician B says the ohm meter should read OL out of limits or resistance infinity if the circuit breaker is good. Who is right? Back, neither A nor B both technicians are incorrect. Technician A is wrong because the DMM has 10 mega ohms of impedance and will not affect circuit components. Technician B is wrong because if the breaker is good the resistance will be very low. Front, alternator. Back. A device in a vehicle that produces current by changing the spinning motion of the alternator pulley mechanical energy into electrical energy. The alternator feeds the electrical energy to the battery and other electrical electronic systems. Also called a generator. Front, voltage. Back, the electrical force, or pressure, that pushes free electrons and causes current. It is also referred to as electromotive force EMF or potential difference. Front, the code BL on a wiring diagram means what wire color? Back, blue, the wire color code for blue is BL. Front, ohms. Back, the electrical unit for resistance and represented by the omega symbol. Front. Technician A says proper starter operation depends on the battery being at a 95% charge and battery cables being of the correct size gauge and having no more than 0. 0.8 volt drop. Technician B says voltage drop testing includes cranking the engine, measuring the drop in voltage from the battery to the starter, and measuring the drop in voltage from the negative terminal of the battery to the engine block. Who is right? Back, B only. Technician A is wrong because the battery charge state should be 75% not 95% and the cable voltage drop should be less than 0.2 volts not 0.8 volts. Technician B makes a correct statement. Front, capacitance. Back, a term used to measure or describe how much charge can be stored in a capacitor condenser for a given voltage potential difference. Capacitance is measured in farads or smaller increments of farads such as microfarads. Front, Kirchhoff and RS Quo S law of voltage drops. Back, some of the voltage drops in any circuit will equal the source voltage. Front, charging system output test. Back, a test that measures system current and voltage under maximum load current output. 
front, voltage drop measurement voltage drop tests. Back, a measurement taken with a voltmeter that determines the internal resistance of a wire or component without having to disconnect the circuit. Also called a voltage drop test. Front, technician A says when checking a non-working component, one should check downstream from the component for an open circuit. Technician B says you should use an ammeter to check for an opening in a circuit. Who is right? Back, neither an or B technician A is wrong because you check upstream at the source for an open circuit. Technician B is wrong because you use an ohmmeter to check if an opening is suspected due to an inoperative component. Front, charging system. Back, a system that forces current back through the battery to recharge it and also provides electricity for all of the vehicle's electric devices when the engine is running. This system serves as the electric power supply under normal operating conditions. Front, if the battery terminals are corroded, what tool is used to remove the battery cable? Back, battery connector puller. A battery connector puller is the appropriate tool because the other tools can damage the battery post and require a replacement battery. Front, what type of sater is required to repair the instrument panel wiring? Back, rosin core. Rosin core is the specified type of sater to use on any electrical repair to ensure integrity. Front, connector. Back, plastic or rubber device with metal terminals or connection points for two or more wires. Many connectors have locking clips that hold the connectors together, ensuring a good electrical connection. Front, rosin core sater. Back, a type of sater that contains flux lead-free cleaning agent inside the sater. Front, resistance. Back, the opposition to free electron flow. It is represented in formulas and diagrams by the letter R. Front, digital multimeter DMM. Back, a multimeter that uses a vacuum fluorescent or liquid crystal display to give a digital readout and measures volts, ohms, and amperes. Front, Technician A says you do not have to solder a repaired wire. Technician B says wire insulation damage is sometimes found where the wire passes through an opening in a metal part. Who is right? Back, B only. Technician A is wrong because the standard repair practice is to sater wiring repairs due to the electronics used. Technician B is correct because wire insulation damage is sometimes found where wire passes through an opening in a metal part. Front, American Wire Gauge, a WG system. Back, a system used to indicate the diameter of conductors. A smaller number or wire gauge denotes a larger conductor diameter. And vice versa, this system was designed for solid wires. Front, Electron Flow Theory Back, a theory that says electrons leave the negative terminal of the battery, flow through the circuit, and then re-enter the positive plus terminal. Front, Parallel Circuit Back, a circuit that has more than one path for current. Front, adaptive cruise control. Back, an enhanced cruise control system with the ability to sense and react to forward traffic. Front, keep alive memory, cam. Back, memory that stores input failures and diagnostic codes and allows the computer to have an adaptive strategy as parts wear and components deteriorate. The information stored in CAM allows the computer to maintain normal vehicle performance with abnormal inputs from sensors. It gives the computer the ability to ignore false inputs to maintain good drivability. Front, Cranking Amps CA Back, same as cold cranking amperes CCA. Except temperature at which the amperes are measured is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and not 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Cranking amperes is an indication of a battery's ability to crank an engine for 30 seconds at a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit without battery voltage dropping below 7. Front, keep alive memory, cam. 
back. Memory that stores input failures and diagnostic codes and allows the computer to have an adaptive strategy as parts wear and components deteriorate. The information stored in CAM allows the computer to maintain normal vehicle performance with abnormal inputs from sensors. It gives the computer the ability to ignore false inputs to maintain good drivability. Front, Cranking Amps CA Back, same as cold cranking amperes CCA. Except temperature at which the amperes are measured is 32 degrees Fahrenheit and not 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Cranking amperes is an indication of a battery's ability to crank an engine for 30 seconds at a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit without battery voltage dropping below 7. Front. Two technicians are discussing a typical non-electronic fuel gauge. Technician A says if the ground wire connection to the fuel tank sending unit becomes rusty or corroded. The fuel gauge will read full or near full. Technician B says if the power lead to the fuel tank sending unit gets grounded. The fuel gauge should go to empty. Who is right? Back. Neither A nor B. Both technicians are wrong. Technician A is wrong because high resistance at the ground connection from corrosion will cause the gauge to read empty not full. Technician B is wrong because if the fuel tank sending unit gets grounded the gauge should read full not empty. Front, connector diagram. Back, a diagram that shows the location of connectors and identifies each terminal in a connector. These diagrams are useful when trying to diagnose electrical problems. Front, Bendix drive. Back, an inertia type starter engagement mechanism. Front, Technician A says a voltage drop test of the charging circuit should be performed when current is flowing through the circuit. Technician B says to connect the leads of a voltmeter to the positive and negative terminals of the battery to measure the voltage drop of the charging system. Who is right? Back. Of only. Technician A is correct because current must be flowing to measure the drop or resistance in the circuit. Technician B is wrong because connecting the meter across the battery shows battery voltage drop per state of charge and not charging circuit voltage drop, which is done at the output terminal of the alternator.